What's going on, guys? Welcome to another... Well, actually, this is uh, pretty interesting. This is going to be the uh, Twitch Rivals 10k thing. Um, so, I'm playing SK, aka Wonder. Uh, not exactly sure how things go. I think we just pair each other normally. I'm also not sure how they want us to wait. So, <clears throat> I guess we just wait. So, this is recorded, so you guys will see it on um, YouTube, if you guys want to check there. And uh, it's also going to be streamed on the Twitch Rivals page, I guess. So, there's also a five minute delay, which you guys will know by the time I say this. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to sit here and I'm not sure exactly how it works. So <clears throat> this is the deck we're going to be playing today. Everything still says upcoming, so I don't think we've started just yet. Matches are available to be played now, so we can do that. So I'm going to assume my opponent will challenge me. Sorry about the delay, guys. I know it's I know it doesn't make chat ideal, but um, it's definitely for the the benefit of the competitors. So so I don't know my opponent's name. I don't think they've actually. I can't actually find their. Um, I think there's, a, there's only like one match going so far, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> uh, let's check into the match. Okay. Uh, oh, we have to actually click on our matches and check in that way. Okay, so... But I'm still not sure how they... So it's a little awkward because it's like one of the first MTG Arena events, I assume. So... No, I found it, so we're just gonna... This should be... This should do it. <coughs> Man, you guys should just start seeing me right now, actually, which is kind of funny. So we are waiting. So it's weird because um, because you guys aren't live. Like you're not, you're you're behind me and you're not reacting um, in real time. It almost feels like I'm not live yet. So sometimes I'll be quieter and I'll be like, okay, well I'll just wait because no one's watching it. But you actually are watching. You're just in the past. So I have to actually make sure that 
it still feels live even though it's a five minute delay. So that's awkward. Well, I challenged my opponent, so you're just going to wait and uh, make sure they show up because that's how you play Magic the Gathering. Gonna keep on waiting. This is riveting so far, I'm sure. My apologies, guys. First six minutes, not super exciting, but um, you know. Thank you, Jay Sizzle. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Five months in a row. <clears throat> of course, I'm not gonna be able to respond to that until five. It's really weird being in the future. the past you see it and it happened five minutes ago so I see something that you're going to experience in five minutes so I'm in the future right <clears throat> okay so we did it McNissa thank you so much for the resub welcome back four months in a row really appreciate it Yeah, you guys are telling me how to pair. I know how to pair, I just didn't know my opponent's name, so. Okay, so. feel like everything is good, right? Like, I'm not, like, missing anything stupid, right? This is my opponent. I have challenged them. I don't know if anyone else is playing. If you guys know uh, if anyone else is playing, let me know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wave when I see this. Did it. Don't you need to challenge each other? Yeah, so it's funny because I'm like, you guys are going to get the response. I'm going to get the responses from you guys before. Significantly, uh, I guess not before, but after. You know what? Words are hard. I'm just going to wait. Elk Tears, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. Well, just going to keep on waiting. Just gonna keep on coughing until we start, I guess. Hopefully, you guys uh, don't. Uh... No idea what to say. There's nothing like it's hard because I can't respond to the chat really in real time, and I also don't have anything to do here because I'm just waiting for this match to start. It's at ten minutes in. I'm really worried about the time too because I don't want to like go to time. Should I like screen cap this so I make sure like, hey, I don't want to get DQ'd because my opponent didn't show up. <clears throat> Where 
we're having a good time. Everybody's everybody's competing. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Both behind you in spirit and behind you in time. It's got to be really funny. And fuck, five minutes is a long time, right? Five minutes from now, you're going to hear me respond. I feel like it's space, right? Like where I say something and it doesn't get to you for five minutes. I wonder if... Is this, long, is this a social experiment? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a psychological experiment right now. Oh, we did it. The magic is happening. <coughs> uh, what are we doing with this hand? Probably gonna mulligan this. Not a big fan of two lands. Uh, this is better, but Lava Coil is still not great. Search into Sailor is pretty good, though. Alright. I'm just going to try to focus on the game here. For obvious reasons. Our opponent's playing some kind of control deck with like no creatures, so Lava Coil's pretty bad, but I mean, what can you do? Yeah, we're playing a Hearthstone player named AKA Wonder. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I'm going to graveyard this. I don't need two sailors. If you want to syncopate this, that is probably fine. You have one syncopate. You did not. Watch this sailor of means go the distance. Steal you all 20. <coughs> yep, you got it. They have, it seems like they have one Ixalan's binding for our search for Escanta. If they want to get rid of that. Four Deafening Clarions, which aren't great against us. One Lava Coil. Three Ionize and three Expansion Explosions, which are problematic. Do I want to miss land drops? Kind of. Didn't we already put a land in the graveyard? No, we just have one dude. Um, we already have a white source. We have two black sources. I think we can graveyard this. <coughs> With search, we're probably going to hit a decent number of lands here. Uh, we can play this. We have a, we have a, a treasure if we really have to play around Syncopate. There's no reason to take two from Sacred Foundry. Okay. Seems good. <coughs> so we have Search and Treasure Map in play, which is pretty good. They don't have any like cleansing Novas or anything, so that's good. They have three Teferi and one Ral. We have a Varaska's Contempt. We also have two Teferi and one Ral. We also have two Sarkon four nickel bullets. They have one negate. It's weird. It's, I don't like having deck lists because now we like know everything they have, but they know everything we have too, so. It's just kind of like. Uh, cancel. <clears throat> Pass. 
pass, pass. Before we go to my turn, yeah, we're gonna activate this guy. Actually, crack this instead. So that's uh, we can bottom. Back. Uh, let's see battlefield. Put a stop there. Let's go to graveyard and activate this before we draw. I will keep that on top. <clears throat> turn, we'll put the stop on our upkeep. Monster, congrats about your your baby. That's amazing, dude. I'm actually thrilled that I'm the first person and the first chat that you have told. That's actually super cool. Uh, let's pop this guy. Uh, done. We can keep you. Resolve. So we have one, two, three, four. We're just gonna play you. Oh, let's go to the main phase first. <coughs> we have no main deck counter spell, so we have no way to contest Nickel Bolas. We have one explosion expansion. For if they like if we if they get if they go to counter it and then we play it, but there's no real way to to like wait to cast Nicol Bolas. Like they probably have an Ionize or a Syncopate in hand, I would assume. Yep. Having the extra clue from the Sailor means we can draw an extra card with treasure, which is kind of nice. This is a nice addition to the to the deck that we added. I imagine this is not going to be a Teferi. Okay, well. Uh, we can graveyard that. We have a lot of mana right now. Okay. We only have two basics in the deck, and I think we binned one of them, so. <clears throat> yeah, the opponent does have fight with fire. That is true. Well, good looking out, Rob. This guy just basically drew us a card with the, uh, with the treasure cove in play. They also don't have a second white, so they can't cast Settle the Wreckage, which is fascinating. The the four Deafening Clarions in their deck are blanks. Lava Coils are... they have one Lava Coil, I guess, which is not great against our Sailors. Fight with Fire is pretty good against like Niv-Mizzet and Nicol Bolas, but it does. It, they are both two for ones. Like for Niv-Mizzet, we draw a card, and for Nicol Bolas, we would make them discard. So, we have five cards in the graveyard. All right. <clears throat> um. We can keep that. Let's attack here. We 
We're just going to Sarkon here. It's a <clears throat> less significant threat than Teferi. And actually, if they counter this, we might be able to actually resolve a Teferi. Like, we spend three. We have to use two treasures, but it might be worth it. Those have seven cards in hand. <clears throat> but I have to assume some number of them are, like, Lava Coils or Deafening Clarions. I guess Deafening Clarion in multiples is good, but... Thank you. Uh, you are Apparatus, bold. thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Um, I don't think we want a Teferi here. Like, they still have the mana to counter anything, so we can probably just end the turn. So, like, they'd have to draw the counterspell this turn in order for it to actually be good, right? Like, I mean, if they have the counterspell in hand, they can still cast it. So there's no reason to waste two treasures. <clears throat> Got six. If it's a land, we're probably just going to bin it. Uh, graveyard. Uh, let's use... Red... Three, four, and we'll use this. We can keep up <clears throat> searching the other one. I'm just going to keep playing things until they say they don't want us to. Sure. I've been through work. So we've we faced ionize, ionize, and negate so far. This lava coil is looking pretty rough. Ah, uh, okay. Good, good to know. These sailors are mean. They're going going the distance here. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, and then we still have enough mana to as Kanta. We'll just keep countering stuff if they want. I mean. Seems good. Hey, Saru, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, Nicobolus also seems pretty good. That's fascinating. Blue, red, black. Do they have any wrath effects? I don't think so. I mean, if you didn't have mana for countering Teferi. Okay, seems good. I mean, they're very close to fight with fire. Can treasure map at the end of their turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They hold if they play a land, they'll have nine, so they can 
explosion expansion for five. And that's what they're gonna do. X damage same player target. So there's <clears throat> so there's two targets. So even if I get rid of Nicol Bolas somehow, it's not gonna really matter. Yep, that's no good. But they're tapped out now, so that's Oh, that was EOT. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm going to step back to seven cards. Yeah. It's funny because we could actually probably cast in arcades with, uh, with all our treasures. Sand's pretty rough against them. I mean, if they play a Tefri or something, it's nice, but... I actually responded with the treasure thinking it was their main phase probably wouldn't have been so liberal about it if I thought it was there at the end of my turn. I mean, we still have two mana up, so... But we would have had four mana up. So we could have actually used both treasures to get rid of a Tefri or something. But I guess we can just do that on our turn. One, two, three, four, five. And we have four black, so we can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and still draw a card if we want to. This is actually kind of funny because you're literally going to have to discard most of these. <clears throat> and you're tapped out, so that's pretty nice. I'm okay with all of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have to discard four cards and you drew five, so you basically drew one card. Getting rid of Teferi is fine. We already drew a card off of it, so it's basically, it's kind of like a one for one, maybe a two for one. But if we can find something with Azkanta, <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So now we can activate this one, two, three if we want to, or we can just draw a card. I also have two chemistry's insights, but uh, so we both have thirty-two. We've gone through the same number of cards in our deck, which is kind of comical. They also have three explosion expansions, so they only have two left. Tuck my Teferi. You'll thank me later. When I have two Sailor of Means on board.
no time for a break. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So I think we're just gonna try to Vraska's contempt. Or we can actually we could actually tuck their Teferi, which is pretty comical. If they Ixalan's binding though. Actually we only have two Teferis in our deck, so it should be fine. <laughs> sure. Kind of funny. So the round ends at one. What if we didn't start to like one fifteen though? Like I really don't want to lose fifteen minutes of time. Dragon swords are actually a lot better when you have dragons. That is my <clears throat> that is my uh, estimation. So we can actually tuck this. Why would I like? I hate that it all it defaults to searching tapping as Kanta. <clears throat> Definitely gonna be countered, but sure, that's not a counter. Three life is not a counter. Oh, he did. All right, seems good. Hurry. Sure. Uh, one, two, three. Then we have one. I guess we can. Nope, do not tap the Escanta, please. <clears throat> so now we have three mana to activate Escanta if we choose to do so. Oh, we're actually, we should have, ah, I forgot the, uh, yeah, we just took two for nothing there. I forgot the, I always forget the Teferi on tap ability. Oh, we also had one extra, so. Um, so can we actually activate twice? I don't think so. Sh sure. No more Sailor of Means. Uh, you and... We are one shy of activating twice. Yeah. Are we like in the burn the face range? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we do it at end step, it's pretty okay. 28 cards to 27 cards. Seems good. We have three mana here though. So what do they have? They have <clears throat> how many how many ionizes in the deck? Four, three ionizes. They've used two. One negate. They've used it. So they could have one ionize. And that's it, right? Standard's a crazy place. So we actually don't have any Teferis left, which is nice. That actually makes us pretty decent. 
Get out of here, little scorpion. Get out of here, you little cutie. It's for your own good. It's dangerous here. Okay. <laughs> Draw a card. I love the two for one here. Actually, it's like a four for one, right? <clears throat> it's a four for one that deals them like two damage. So Deafening Clarion is one card and we draw a card. So that's a two for one. Lava Coil. We draw another card. We've dealt them two. Yep, that's pretty good. So our, our group is like eight cards and they have three. Yeah, that's fine. So they only have one Ionize left in the deck. Oh, they do have one Synco Bait. I must have missed Saw. Stop using his Kanta. One, two, three, four. And we'll just use one of these guys. Actually, we'll just use the Treasure Cove. One, two, three, four, five, right? So they can't syncopate it. They have their one ionize in hand, they can they can do that. <clears throat> yep, that's not gonna do it. What are they creatures? I think they have one Niv Mizzet in the deck. No, there's one in the sideboard and one Lyra, so they actually have no creatures in the deck. I don't need this. I need this. Did I play a land this turn? I guess I did. <clears throat> Whatever. Card is a card, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Can't really do anything else. We do have Explosion Expansion. I keep forgetting that. Uh, it's worth noting because it does, if they have a counter spell, we can counter back. Are they just done? Hmm. Well. It's pretty okay. Don't doubt my methods. Let's discard a Clarion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, I think we're good. We do have to win with seventeen cards left, so. <clears throat> they have two counter spells in their entire deck. Oh, cancel. That's not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted to do at all, but I, I guess getting back like Teferi is not terrible. I really wanted to actually try to go for 10. 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually, it, would have been, it only would have been 8, so I guess that's fine. Oh man, first misclick of Magic Online. Or Magic MTG Arena, I guess. So 
So we can get a Teferi back with... Um, Bouncing Exelon's Binding seems fine. It causes them to replay it. And we get a Nicol Bolas out of the deal. Um, sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 permanents. That is all. So 19 to 16. Seventeen to sixteen. Let's discard cast down. <coughs> Which was a late addition. We actually added that at the last minute last night, so Yep. He's known for his excellent timing. if they have anything instant speed that can deal with this. They have one more explosion expansion, but then they go to 12 cards. I'm not actually sure they win the game if they do that. Let's play other Niv-Mizzet, I guess. Or Nicol Bolas, rather. I don't need any more cards, so I'm not interested in like drawing more cards for Teferi. Like they only have one explosion expansion left, so they have to try to kill us with that, I guess. And they have one like one Ral's Eric. I don't know what their win conditions are at this point. <laughs> <clears throat> you can draw a card. So I have to assume you have one um, I have to assume you have settle in hand, right? There's one settle here. Finalize. I 
I mean, if you if we attack you and you go settle, we get a land. Oh, we know all of our deck now. That's pretty funny. Yep. Oh, I'm actually going to decline. And you have one card after we play this. Are they like going over all our lands? Is that what the is that what that like highlighted for? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we can definitely pay for whatever they If they want to syncopate this, we can definitely pay for it. I feel like we're just, we should probably just go to game two here. We also have Nimbus in hand. So I think they only have two settles in their deck. They have two settles and they're both they're both done, so. I guess they could play Marari Conjecture. But then we just attack with one guy. Oh, there's the Cinco Pate. Alright, so. Thirteen cards. We have to not deck ourselves. Still standing with you because you're a planeswalker. That is not an option. I don't really want to draw two here, but what's what are the odds of us getting ultimate? Pretty low. We're just gonna draw two because we can go to eleven. Uh, I think that should be fine. And this is a match. I'm just gonna put lethal on board. <clears throat> See if this does anything. I definitely missed the stream live over the last couple of weeks. I missed your face. You should have a day where you battle your viewers in arena. Good luck in your games. Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Really, really appreciate it, man. So this is pretty much lethal. They don't have another Settle the Wreckage. So I think we can go to game two. It's also 150. Like, I don't know what happens at two o'clock. The, the, the round should end at two. I feel like our board's pretty good. We have three Planeswalkers and two Elder, two elder Dragons. Actually, I don't know if this is an Elder Dragon. I think he's just a regular Dragon. <clears throat> and if they have Marari Conjecture out of one of the two cards in their hand, it's probably wise to get it. But, you know...
All right. Shoot your face. Their final explosion expansion. For 11. Well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh-huh. Well. That is a concern. Is there anything we can do about that? I don't think so, actually. I think we just lose. Well, that is unfortunate. Shut up and take my money. One got him, Buck. We didn't get him, though. We have ten cards in our deck. They're explosive. They're doing this for eleven. Do we have any way to put cards back? I don't think so, dude. <sighs> That's frustrating. Wait. Wow. I think we're just dead here. Yep, that's pretty bad. <clears throat> So I guess that's it. I guess we're just done. I'm being told that uh, if you haven't started game two by 10.50, please let an admin know you may not start another match and your match score will end with the record you currently hold. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So I guess we're just going to wait. I don't even know if we can start another game at 154. It also seems like games on here take a lot longer. Is that just me? Like where it seems like the games. Right, Claire, okay, thank you. I'm really glad you said that because I feel like it was just in my head. I'm like, but wait, it's supposed to be a quicker client. Like each individual action is faster, but like you have significantly more time per action. You know what I mean? Like, so I do one thing and I have three seconds. I do one thing, I have three seconds. I do one thing, I have three seconds. Whereas in Magic Online, you can do five things in 10 seconds and it actually ends up being less time. So I guess my opponent just won because <clears throat> super awkward. Um, so yeah, I guess we're being told like it sucks because we started at one fifteen. Like they they didn't show up for fifteen minutes. Yeah, 
All right, so uh, our library account is actually on the library. I just actually sent a message. They're like, if you think something should be investigated, just let us know. And like, I, I don't necessarily, like I'm not super, uh, it's just frustrating that they don't show up until 115 and then they win at 150. So we have 35 minutes to complete an entire round. And that's a big difference from the hour that we're, like that's, Yeah, they said, <clears throat> it seems Twitch is cracking down hard. You guys wouldn't have time ever. Like, she said to start the match, but, like, I'm like, no, there's, like, two minutes left. We would never have time for that. And uh, then she's like, it seems Twitch is cracking. Uh, I will have a stern word with AKA. I know him well from Hearthstone. I'm really sorry you had to be the victim of this. We'll make sure to crack down on this behavior. So, pretty sweet, uh, <laughs> pretty sweet start to the event. I, I don't feel like our deck did poorly. I think our deck did actually well. Um, problem being that, like, I was getting worried about the number of cards in our deck. I, always, I also forgot Explosion Expansion was uh, each... Yeah, she said thanks for being super. Thanks for being understanding of the tournament flow, and I'm like, yeah, hey, what can you do? Like, thanks for the quick reply. You guys are doing a great job with the resources you have. It sucks because it's a 10k tournament. There's a lot on. There's a lot on the line. So first place is three thousand dollars. So like losing your first round, uh, because you get literally timed out. It's like thirty. Like you're expected. Like the round starts at one. It ends at two, right? So like, that's an hour. Having thirty five minutes to play your entire round in a control versus control matchup is just brutal like it's not even a realistic thing like that's not a magic game that's pretty bad so um i'm gonna record the first four rounds on here and then i'll do a second part which is another four rounds so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing but um yeah i'm gonna go to the yep that is unfortunate round two shut Let's... up and take my money one talk about awkward timing buck yes that was uh that was awkward when you said got him i like that oh good i'm playing gil larson fantastic this is literally me and me and mike b were joking about this last night he's like yeah first round to play game to see and then i was like yeah and then i'll win and then i'll just play gil larson next round so instead I actually lost and I'm still playing Gil Larson in round two, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, it's weird to show like and it, it wasn't like five minutes late. It's literally like they showed up at 115, which is huge, dude. Like Yeah, I just mentioned that. I'm like, worth noting that being 10 minutes late to your match is a game loss. Being 15 minutes late is pretty huge. Like, that's an insane amount of time. 15 minutes is unreasonable. So, I guess I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to find everyone. No one is finding me, so I'm just going to find everyone else.
Yo, where are you? And there's also this big long list of people, so I'm just like, hey, I have to find your name. All right, let's try again. If this had been a real event and OP was that late, the game would have been forfeit, wouldn't it? Yes, it would have. Yeah. Like I just said, you guys uh, yeah, you guys aren't, aren't going to catch it for a few minutes, but being 10 minutes late is a game loss. I think it's actually less than that. It's probably like being five minutes late. Or if you're not at your table. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I said. I'm like, this 15 minutes is ridiculous. Like, I basically just lost because... All right, well, 203. Here we go again. Yo, Larson is playing the exact same deck. This is literally what happens to me in every event. <laughs> I play a deck that I really like, and it's kind of slow and grindy because that's kind of my style, and then I play against literally the exact, like, this uh, an equally slow deck so oh the game itself was great but um cassius what was your you're not know, gonna be able to find out aaron i did i just haven't had a chance to respond since i got back from new york which was like saturday apologies for that buddy You'll figure this out in I mean, I wouldn't mind if this is just like a friendly Twitch tournament. I'd be like, hey, no big deal. What's no problem? Yola's is like, I are you ready? I'm like, yeah, I challenged you. I'm just challenging people immediately. I don't know why this is like such a such a thing. Uh yeah, we can keep this. Steam vents makes it all go. Lava coilless only. They don't get a game loss for showing up late. Nope. You just get to roll on into the into the one oh bracket, apparently. Yeah, I mean it's rough. Like I'm not like I'm not like super. I'm not mad about it. It's just, it's just feel bads. And now I get to play the same exact deck, a second time. Like it's just this is gonna be mentally exhausting. <sighs> Should have just played like mono red, but they're playing like four revitalize in the main deck or three revitalize or something. Yep, three ionize, one negate, one syncopate. Same counter spell package. Three explosion expansion. And now us needing a 3-drop or a 4th land to start playing Nicol Boluses. Yeah, I do sound a little sad. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, this is never resolving, but, I mean, we got two. It's all good. Maybe you don't have one ionize, one of your three ionize, your syncopate. You have four counter spells in your deck. You could not not have one. works well for us.
Yeah, 15 minutes is a quarter of your allotted time. Yeah, I know. You guys seem you guys actually seem more upset about it than I do. I mean, I'm irritated because it's a big it's a big event. Like there's a lot of money on the line, but I mean, what can I do? Let's see that seal away. No seal away, huh? This guy is basically the same as playing a a dragon horde in the sense of ramp. Only it gets another body on the board, which is nice. The cast down on the lava coil actually blanks here. Yeah, that's fine. Wow. That's pretty awkward. The chat spotted his lethal. Boy, that's pretty rough. Uh, that's super awkward. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. I guess it doesn't matter for you guys, but... I want to play this. I don't feel like running these guys out when they have a million mana. If you want to counter a dragon's horde, it's totally fine. Yeah, so first round opponent. That was a good experience. We actually uh, showed up 15 minutes late, and uh, his chat spotted lethal. This, I wonder, wonder why it was taking so long. Like, if you have... If you have uh, a card that deals me... That makes me draw 11 cards, and I have 10 in my library, just, just target me. So yeah, it makes total sense that he didn't know the subtle interaction of expansion dealing, uh, targeting, being able to target opponents and make them draw cards, which is, makes sense. I mean, I, it's a very subtle, a lot of times cards like that are just you draw X cards. So having the chat be like, make him draw 11 cards. He only has 10 in his library is really frustrating when it's a 10K event. Man, I'm just like, what a tilting round one. Wow, that resolved. Let's slow this down. Land one time. Let's skip to the good part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have five, so they can go eight. If they play land, and they can deal four to Teferi and draw four, that still doesn't kill them. They have one Exelon's Binding. I mean, it makes sense for me to be salty, right? Like, I mean, my, my first round opponent shows up 15 minutes late. Uh, we get to play one round, one game in 35 minutes, which I lose because chat told him lethal. And this is a 10K. Like, it's not like, it's not, we're just having, not having fun. It's not like a, a cute, it's not like a league, a Magic Online League or a league draft where, um, where like I can just jump in, it's like ten tickets and no big deal. This is three thousand dollars for a first place. Like that's a lot of money, man. I mean, it's gonna suck if I end up losing because uh my opponent's chat told them what to do. And they didn't know how to be here on time. Like I mean it's just like it is what it is, but like I feel like I'm doing everything by the rules. Like my chat isn't helping me with plays because of a five minute delay, obviously. Um and you know, I'm, I was here on time. I challenged them at like 102. So, you know, one person is playing uh, within the confines of the rules. The other is 
do, doing multiple things uh, that that are not okay. And you know, it is what it is. It's just a, it's just frustrating. That's all. You know. Well, that is a one of. Well, we're hoping for a land there. I mean, 23 turns and then Yul is dead, so that's good to know. I feel like we're in good shape here. We have. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right, y'all. Seems good. Library. Drop this dude. Niv Misage is always res resolving and drawing us two cards thanks to Dragon's Horde is pretty insane. Like, because if they try to kill it, we draw a card, and Dragon's Horde obviously draws us a card. Anyway, uh, I guess we're shooting you in the face. Hmm, can we do anything about this? I don't think so. I guess, I guess we're letting it resolve. The amount of times these decks get to nine mana is pretty startling. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can graveyard this. We have another land in hand already. So we can go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Yeah, we can, we can do it all. Do you look to the skies? I mean, explosion expansion drew them four, drew them five, and. The Niv Mizzet draws us two, and then the Niv Mizzet's going to draw us another two. All things. All things considered. We don't have two cards in our graveyard? Wow. I could have sworn it was more than that, but. I mean, I guess when we're not. Like, we have a handful of removal against a deck with, like, no creatures. It's pretty rough. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That was in response to LaFuff saying keep cool because in five minutes you guys likely would not know what I was responding to. <sighs> oh, draw a card. Sounds good. So this is the same thing that happened last time. Like, Deafening Clarion. Deafening Clarion number two. Two Deafening Clarions would be nice here. And that is what we got. This is why I also kept the dive down in the deck. We took it out, but this is why I had one in here for situations like that where it's just like, it counters removal and it like, like if they're doing damage based stuff, you can just do that nonsense. Graveyard. Simple graveyards. Um, actually, I'm gonna... 
We have enough mana here to play a bunch of stuff, so I'm not super... Uh, use this white. I mean, if you got ionized, you got ionized. What are you going to do? One, two, three, four, five. We're one shy of actually just... Yep. All right. So the reason we did that was because we can actually discard the lava coil. I'll show you to get something a little more valuable like that. Play the land one, two, three, four, five. All right, well, we can just wait then. He had to look at most of my cards prior to the match. Wow. All right, well, that's cool. I come from AK Wonder Stream, I'm a subscriber. And I want to kind of explain the situation from his point of view. He didn't get help from the chat. He's on delay, and people were commenting on the final play without him knowing, just like they comment on the official Twitch trial stream at the time. And the default is only his. Um, yeah, I mean, like, that's... I, I agree with both of those. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I understand where, like... I imagine you just get ionized back because it's strong. Oh, Explosion Expansion. That's also a good card. I mean, nonetheless, that doesn't make me feel any better. And, uh still is what it is like i mean if i took if i if i was 15 minutes late to an event and i beat my opponent uh well well the the, the chat suggested lethal i'd probably just concede like that's just that seems like good sportsmanship like you must manage your own time and you didn't do proper research before the event so like that's i mean that seems like your own fault <laughs> sorry Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you have a second ionize? That is the question. Never don't have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually don't want to take any more damage than I have because they have explosion expansion, so. I mean, this is the first one, but it's not the first magic event, right? Like, I mean, it's not... If you're spending 10 to 12 minutes looking up cards, you're still late. Like, if you're not in the event and you're still looking up cards for 10 to 12 minutes, that's being late. Sorry, dude. I mean, whether you're sitting in the chair or not, you're supposed to be ready to go at 1 p.m. Just because you're sitting in the chair and looking up cards for 12 minutes doesn't mean you're on time. That's just literally... I don't know. Yep. I mean, I'm interacting with people. I'm on delay. I mean, it's just something you do. People are gonna find they're gonna they're gonna listen in five minutes. But um Well, we have no more dragons in hand. Twenty-four to twenty-eight. Yes. Are we just dead to this? <laughs> Is this just a card we're dead to? Like they just explosion expansion us for like a million if they get it? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. 
Yep, I guess we're just hoping you don't have explosion expansion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They do 16 if they do. They do 18 if they do. My problem is even if someone in chat is saying uh, he's at fault and should have prepared beforehand, like, that's, to me, that's, like, you lost. Yep, actually, if we took two less, if we were at 16, we could actually exile this guy, go to 18, and, uh... Oh, they're also targeting us to draw, so... Yep, let's just go to the next game. This is, this has been something. Uh, definitely bring an invoke against this deck. Maybe? Yeah, I don't think Star is good. Elder Boy is not great. Vraska definitely not. Right. That seems good. All right. And then we wait. All right, so 2.23 was about the time that uh, that I challenged, so we'll see. Yeah, it's just it's gonna be hard to win two two matches in this amount of time, two games in this amount of time, which is pretty frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. Seems fine. Third turn Sarkon's pretty good. Oh, actually, I went first, which is great because we didn't have to... We're supposed to repair if it's incorrect. So there's no way... These are best of one. The only way to direct challenge someone is best of one, not best of three. Which I assume is a feature they're working on. This actually seems fine here because we can still play Nicol Bolas next turn, but I'd like to actually get Thief of Sanity out. Sure. Is he boarding more Cinco paints? <laughs> no, no more Cinco paints get boarded in, so that was literally the one of Cinco paint. This is fine. If you want to counter this, it's all right. You want to fight? Well, I already had a fight. That you lost. You lost the fight. Well, that resolved actually very quickly, so it means I might not have anything in hand as far as responses go.
Is this where they have seal away? Guess we'll find out. Good. Still get to draw, now we have Raska's Contempt. One, two, three, four, five. We can also flip this guy, so they have to actually tuck Nicol Bolas now. Or not. Yeah, this is why we brought in... So funny. I know we need to move quickly. So, one, two, three, four, black. We do need a second black source. Let's go to the main phase to get that. Hmm, decisions, decisions. One, two, three, and then one, two. Before we can play Nicobolus here. I think we just have to try to get rid of uh This is rough. <sighs> it's really frustrating. I fight when I know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I mean they're gonna have to tuck Ral, I guess. And then we can go Niv Mizzet, Sarkon draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay, well, I had a stop set, <laughs> and I just draw a card. Okay, can someone clip that for me so that they, they can see that? It's going to be five minutes too late. Actually, when I said it is when it happened. So you guys are actually, it's going to, whenever I said that, it's going to be exactly when you can clip it. So, man, time travel is hard. Enough. 
Having a disdainful stroke is pretty nice here. That's less nice. Yep, that's never resolving in one million years. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have nine, so we can do everything. Sure. I was like, why can't I use this? He is under the thing. All right, that's cool. Forgot about that. Uh, always nice to get out of the lab. The search for the unknown. That's real science. That's actually pretty good. Thank you. Oh, we do have two invokes in the deck now, so that's nice. Pronunciation for dummies. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. A lot of these, a lot of the emotes from the Planeswalkers are pretty sweet. <sighs> cast, cast, bolus. I think you mean can't cast bolus. Yeah, I always forget about the Ixalan's Binding because it's not a very commonly played card in standard. So, you know, I try to play the guard, the the card, and then it and it dies. Eldest Reborn would be great here. Raska's Contempt in Invoke would be good. Lots of cards would be good here when they have two Planeswalkers. We have two at six, which is pretty cool. Oh, let's actually turn this on now so that we can actually use it. Oh, look here. You're doing some floaty floats. 26 pancake dollars. Badger, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. That should make up for my round one loss of no fault of my own in that specific situation. All right. Well. Oh, it was that. It was now. It's at a hundred. That's good. Well, I'm sure you have it. So you kept exactly three up. And you're not going to do that unless you have an eye on eyes, so. Of course. Strike like you mean it. Done. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That wasn't even our main phase. Wow. We got all this done before before breakfast. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Might as well get the land that's free to play here. Four 
four and two. Let's. Boundless power. What can we get back here? Nothing there. Niv Mizzet here. So we get back Niv. We can shoot you. That's not as raw. Or we can just kill like Ral or Teferi. They don't have another Teferi in the graveyard or anything. We have Thief of Sanity and Niv Mizzet. And another Sarkon, which doesn't really do much. Unfortunately, Niv comes out. We can't. We got. We want to get rid of one of these guys. Bolus told me I should do this. We could have also played Nicol Bolas, but I don't really want to waste both clues. Both clues are pretty good for cards in terms of. Hurry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they can deal six. Not terrible. How many explosion expansions? We dealt with Marari's conjecture. Two ionizes are in here. And one explosion expansion. I wish there was a better way to do this, like a list. It's just a lot to process. Oh, I talked to Chris Clay about it this morning with the stops in there or whatever. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Oh, that's cute. Well, at least our Planeswalker survived. Nickel Bolas this is. Might demands power. I don't want to kill this guy, but I think drawing two actually we took a lot of bar removal out, so I am gonna actually kill this dude. And let's draw a card. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so. Draw two here. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. I know what must be done. I'm tempted to tuck this this Teferi here. a lava coil when I have nickel bolus. Keep up the pace. Let's just draw a card here. Yeah, these games take a lot longer. <laughs> I've noticed that um there's a lot more time in between every action in Magic Magic the Arena. Like we're we're at 243 and we're actually 
only in our second game. I don't actually know if it's possible to finish three. three. Oh, I guess you have multiple lava coils. This is why we didn't actually tuck their Jace be or their Tefri because then they're just gonna kill our Tefri with it. So, with the Goblin token anyway. So, so it feels like I'm gonna be in the uh, the O one one bracket after this, unfortunately. Like, this is what I mean. Like, it just takes a ton of time. <laughs> There's just a ton of time. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Fight with fire kicked. Kill you, kill you. Well, fight with fire is a hell of a card in this format. Do they tuck our Teferi with their Teferi? Who knows? No more games. Yep, that's what I figured. All right. <laughs> oh, good times. Pass. Sarkon goes to one. Lands, eh? Don't doubt my methods. Let's get Teferi back. I won't hide from the world. Hold that thought. Untap treasure map and we'll untap a water grave. Which you can't really see from this. Like, it's very, I'm like, is this water grave? I don't know. The, it's really hard to tell once you get this many lands on the board. It's kind of hard to tell what they are. We get to start a turn with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can deal 8 with an explosion expansion. So two, two explosion expansions kill us if we don't find, like, a counter spell. And they have one, one Teferi and one Ral in the graveyard, so they have one Teferi left in the deck. Oh, just 10 to the face. And copy it. Well, if I don't play against this deck a third time, then maybe we can go 4 2. Yeah, good times. Oh, boy. Well. All right, so now we're o we're two o two, after facing the same deck twice. Uh, first round was a little bit of unfortunate, and I think we lost against Yul. Yul probably lost actually because he timed out because this deck that we just played against is extremely slow. It's a slow deck, uh, as you can tell, because they want to amass eleven mana, and either explosion expansion you or fight with fire you and copy it. So, um, 
we had four counter spells. We saw two of them. Would have liked to have seen more there, but um, we did not. So um, yeah, we are now 0-2. Uh, it's unfortunate because I think we, we we tested for this 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 event a bunch, uh, unlike some of <laughs> our other opponents, it seems. And uh, it's, it's kind of unfortunate because the first round opponent um, put us in kind of a bad position. You know, I mean, I'm not usually one to to harp on something, but um, you know, when when we're almost you know assuredly knocked out of top eight now because of that first round, uh, because our opponent decided to use 15 minutes of our round time to research my cards, you know, kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Um, also, I mean, I wouldn't also mind as much if I didn't. I spent two hundred dollars on packs to prepare for this event because I didn't have cards. So I spent money in Magic Arena. Uh, that I hope to somehow recoup if I did well and um, kind of a bad shake so I'm going to take about a 10 minute break if you guys are watching on YouTube um, I'm going to do one more round and then we'll cut this video off so stick around it's not you can fast forward through the break if you'd like I'm going to go grab some uh, another drink at the restroom and I'll be right back so don't go anywhere guys all right guys we are back So, here we are. You guys probably won't know until I get back, though. So, La da 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 da. Gonna actually copy something for you guys in the chat. There you go. There's MTG Arena uh, tweeting out uh, the sweet ending to our round one, which is pretty comical to me, actually. So, you know, there you go. There you go. So I guess round three might be up. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, you don't know how the, I don't know how the round, the pairing works. Like um, if the round like automatically pairs every hour. So, I imagine round three is up. Cool. I also feel like it would be fair for me to get a draw, but that's not, that is not how it goes, my friend. Old Man Silver, thank you so much for the resub, really appreciate it. You'll see this in five minutes. So round three is not up yet. We're still waiting on round two. It looks like there's one match still playing. So it's really funny that they grabbed that clip and put it up there because um, it seems like the exact op. I mean, like all the all the uh, the information surrounding that clip is pretty poor sportsmanship. So kind of comical that it was retweeted by the actual Magic Arena Twitter account, but that's how it goes. Anyway, as long as we don't play control decks, I feel like we uh, might have a shot. I don't know. I'm not sure at what point we just uh, we just drop. I think being... If we, if we get another loss, we're probably dropping. I can't imagine top 16-ing at 3-3. But...
So, I'm going to keep refreshing this page. I don't know if there's a more efficient way to find out. Oh, round three is up. All right, please go to your pairing. It's cool. So now I just have to find myself. So that is round two. So let's go to round three. Do a little refresherino. And brain TM. I don't know who that is, but I assume it's a magic player. So I will go to direct challenge and play this. Let's get our regular deck. I don't want to do that. We'll call it dragon. Sounds good. All right. Well, I have challenged them. Let's see if they challenge back. How is your new chair? It's actually wonderful. So, um, 306, waiting for our opponent. Maybe they dropped. We're in the O2 bracket, so. I'm in the round. Do I check in? I think I have to check in here. So I hit check in. All right, so we both checked in. All right, well. Okay, it looks like we're playing green-white tokens here. March of the Multitudes, Thorn Lieutenants, Venerated Loxodons, things like that. I should be okay against a deck like that. March of the Multitudes at instant speed is pretty scary. But, you know. No, that's. Well, that's very small. Okay. Well, still waiting. Oh, Yola's great. Yola's, uh. It's pretty insane. Actual insane magic player. It's really obnoxious, like, being seven minutes in and having your round not have started yet. Like, you have such a limited time as it is, and these matches take so long that, like... Eight minutes. So I guess like it's just frustrating to have to sit here and wait. All right. Well, eight minutes in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, definitely keeping this hand. Third turn, Sarkon's where I want to be.
killing that dude immediately. This is actually a fourth turn Niv if this Sarkon stays good. Which it should. He told me I would find you here. I'm gonna discard treasure map here because I'd rather hit lands and things. More Nick Bullis for that matter. We have three Deafening Clay Rounds, four Sailor of Means. We have a bunch of things in the deck. Deafening Clay Round here would be utterly insane. That was a Sailor. I'm not sure what they can play that actually blow us out here. I guess we can take a look at the main deck. Uh, they don't have enough mana for Flower Flourish. And they don't have enough mana for... Yeah, I guess we can... I guess we're safe playing a... So we have blue, blue, and red, red. So we can actually just make Are you ready? blue and red. We could also play the Sailor in Nicol Bolas, but I kind of like getting Niv Mizzet down. It doesn't actually look like they have any answers for that. They have four Conclave Tribunals, so they could just play Conclave Tribunal and we're probably just in really bad shape. Hmm. But they did not. I don't see any tricks in their deck, so... Alright, well, if they don't have any pump spell, we can actually start mowing these dudes down. That's fine. We can tap like two guys for that. Sulfur Falls. Um, one, two, three. Short of. I think we just play Nickel Bolas here and make them discard their last card. Sapperling Migration. So if we put them to 13, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we've got them to 4. We can't really deal an extra 4 points. We can draw 2 cards. No, we're definitely not attacking here. Their deck's a little scary. Um, actually, cool. Should have actually killed this guy. Did they just pass there? That seems great if they just passed. Uh, so Teferi, one, two, three, four, five. We untap. Can't Vraska's Contempt. We're gonna make an extra guy. We get to draw a card and shoot this guy. Also get to go block block unless they play a land. Let's slow this down. Hurry. Do you have a pump spell? Well, we get two down. They make seven, though. As you can imagine, not great. <laughs> Five, and they also have lifelink, so it makes God, it makes attacking really difficult.
31 bits. Thank you so much, Cody Ganks. Really appreciate it, buddy. So these guys are all going at big tests. This is a really awkward blocking. Uh... Yep. So Teferi dies. Sure. Just keep picking them off and hoping you keep. Oh, if you. If you. Oh, boy. So one, two, one, two, three, and then we get to keep up. Why would you tap the black for that one? I have Vraska's Contempt in hand. That's weird. If it's our creature or planeswalker, nothing great there. We can put a Teferi into play, but like unless we're able to deal with all these guys, it's just not great. I think we just go one, two, three, Sailor. Sailor blocks a bunch of stuff. Five, this is nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. They have four guys. We can go block here, block, block here if they attack. I don't want to attack here. I think it's no attack still. I mean, flower flourish is pretty busted. I'm uh, not looking forward to that. So this guy's what? A. S I'm gonna block here and force you to tap out. If you want to pump this guy to, to trade, that's fine because you don't get a one one. Yep. Thank you. Billy, thanks so much for the for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, do we not have two black here? Yeah, you're gonna make an elf warrior, but it's whatever. This is a lot of uh, a lot of cards I don't really want. Get in with you. Ooh, they did not do anything. I like it. Um, I think we actually can flip. I think we're in a position where we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We use three of it, go down to, to five, and then this is six. We can't actually... Let's attack with Nicobolas, flip it, and draw two, which should shoot two more guys. Drawing two here seems very relevant because we really need cards. I am limitless. My knowledge oh, well, endless. that's pretty good. So, shoot you. Shoot you. Do we have two white sources? We can just play watery grave here. All right, we seem like we're in good good position here with Deafening Clarion. We're at 21 as well, and they have no cards in hand, so. Uh, we can definitely block here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven if they want to pump. Niv Nicobola still survives, so I feel like we'll probably be going to game. Uh, no blocks. 
I'm not trading an if it for a, a Thorn Lieutenant block, not even a trade. Yep, kill that dude. So if I just do this, it's probably the end of the game, right? One, two, three for dragon. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we can go four, three. So we can actually play this. Sulfur Falls. Clarion. can't tell. I feel like we're winning. I think we won. Alright, so I actually don't have a deck for this, so I'm going to actually clone this one and I'm going to relabel it. Little Dragons Tokens. And we're just going to sideboard accordingly. Cast down seems... Eh, it kills venerated locks on stuff. Coil's good. Sailor's good. We're definitely bringing in the other Clarion. We're probably bringing in a Star of Extinction. Moment of Craving seems pretty okay. I also do like Disdainful Stroke because it counters a lot of the relevant cards. Okay, so we need to take out six things. Take out one Vraska's Contempt. It seems pretty slow. Eldest Reborn is bad against the token decks. Those are easy cuts. Uh, explosion Expansion, not great. I like all the other dudes. Sailor, Sarkon, Horde. Everything else seems good. I'll take out one more Vraska's Contempt. We have a lot of spot removal. They don't have a ton of big creatures. One Vraska's Contempt should be fine. What are they bringing in in the sideboard? They have Carnage Tyrants. Adanto Vanguards, Lyra, Knight of Autumn, Seal Away, and Shalai. I might just want double stars. Maybe take out, like, I don't think, I don't know, maybe Treasure Map is too slow. And maybe the Frasca's Contempt. I think we're good like this. So done. Let's go home. Thank you. Switch this to tokens. And challenge. Mox Crystal, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the um, Vili. Oh, you already already said that. I'm pretty sure the uh, surprised Pikachu is the most uh, successful emote that I have. And now we wait.
Um. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Having all our lands is pretty relevant. This is game two against Celestia. If they Amara were coiling that thing for sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sailor of Means actually blocks that guy quite well. So we're going to play Sailor into Sulphur Falls, I guess. That's actually fine. I hope you're done after that. Don't play another Adanto Vanguard. Sure. Hopefully this will do it. Yep. That is hard to deal with. Well, that guy's good. You can block here, you can't pump it profitably. You can also play Ral, but doesn't do much. Alright. Venerated locks done. So they can't actually attack with this guy. They can attack with the Vanguard, though. Yep, seems good. Well, that's pretty bad. Guess we take eight here. Three, four, five. Hmm. That is fascinating. One, two, three, four. We can we can play a Ral, which probably dies. We can lava coil a dude and play a Sarkon, which is probably better. Oops, cancel that. Let's play land first. Wait, why isn't it? What's going on here? Lava coil. Kill this dude. There we go. It's like, what's going on? This is... A lot of drama. I don't need this. I need this. Yeah, that's actually better. Now we don't have to take two damage next turn. No attacks. If they actually attack with both, we're probably gonna block here because we're planning on Sarconing. Four two Adanto Vanguard is pretty hard to deal with. I'm not gonna lie about that. Both at me. Well, and that's something. That's pretty good, I guess. Sarkon, why you gotta die? <laughs> Let's just take care of more. A second green. 
for a second to white. What is March of the Multitudes? Is that double white or double green? I don't think it matters. It is double white, so... I'll show you I'm gonna get rid of the stroke here. And we're just gonna do this. We're basically getting rid of the Thorn Lieutenant, but we're dead on board if we don't do this, so... Oh, you dead. <sighs> Niv Mizzet would be nice here. Play Niv Mizzet. I'm not sure what other answers we have. <laughs> Braska's Contempt actually is good against the Adanto Vanguard, which is pretty problematic. I imagine they just have another Conclave Tribunal that they're going to kill this guy with. That's my guess. So let's see how accurate my prediction is. Fantastic. Okay, so Adanto Vanguard literally killed us there. Maybe we do want Vraska's Contempts back in because they deal with that card. Did I take all of them out? Yikes. Take one Lava Coil, bring in one Vraska's Contempt. Oh, Moment of Craving actually does the job too, which is nice. We don't have Explosion Expansion still in the main deck, do we? No, okay. All right. Let's try again. I should be on the play. So if I'm not on the play, then we uh, we restart until on the play. Because there's no way to actually... It's always random. There's It's not best of three. So whenever you start a game, it's best of one, and it's always random who plays first. But considering we're doing a tournament, that's supposed to be best of three... Uh, in order to um, keep the, what is the word I'm looking for? Validity of whoever plays first or draws first. You just cycle out and then cycle back in until you get the correct configuration. I also don't hate like one invoke to get rid of the other things. I don't know if I put invoke in or not. I don't think so. Hopefully we'll hit a white source, because that's what you want. Um, we'll start with Summit. And we're on the play, so actually super convenient. Don't have to do anything special. 
And this match is taking uh, a good amount of, like, a perfect, the perfect time. So. Two little baby boys. Oh, library. That's where we want to be. Be. That ain't cool. Uh, graveyard. We have two more lands in hand. Both of them are going to come into play untapped, so I'm not really... I'm going to do this for two cards, because I don't, no matter what they play next turn, we can Teferi and Tuck, I think. So I think we're okay with that. Oh, I didn't want to talk that because, well, reasons. I think we just draw a card, though. I think it's actually totally fine to just Teferi draw a card. I'll keep this. If we tuck this, Teferi goes to one, and then they get a token Sorry, anyway. It's, it's spell or ability, right? Yeah, and then they just kill Teferi. So I'd much rather them just Let's deal Teferi too, and we can Lava Coil and play Sailor next turn. Cards in graveyard three. Seems fine. And we get to look at three cards every turn. One from Teferi, one from Search, and one from... Yep, had a feeling we were going to do that. Which is still fine. Uh, graveyard that. Nicholas Bolas. Uh, if we kill this guy, we can actually block here. No time for a break. We can also play Nicholas, Nicholas Bolas and Sailor. Uh, actually, we're going to kill one of these guys, right? One, two, three. And then one, two, coin this guy. Yeah, we're going to have to take two here. But make sure they're keeping a red up. They are. Yeah, we're going to kill the Loxodon on here. The reason is this guy's not big enough to really pressure us yet. Oh, they self-discard. Like, they don't have six mana for for Pumping Thorn Lieutenant, so. Also, even if they get rid of Nicol Bolas and they come at Teferi, Teferi still goes to one, so it's still fine. Um, let me graveyard that. Well, we didn't do anything, so that bodes well for us. Pace. Yes, keep it up. The pace. Keep it up. So next turn they can flip. But if we play, we can play great. We can actually flip this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it takes, it cost them all their mana. The other problem is if they play like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. They can march to the multitudes for four this turn. We can go block, block, Teferi takes four, still survives. Not terrible. One, two, three, let's play you first. And we'll just pass here. probably going to march here. 
which Teferi goes to three and we get to eat two guys. Probably gonna block here, force them to use all their mana. Yep. So Teferi takes four goes to three if nothing if nothing goes wrong. Even if they get rid of Nickel Bolus, we can block here. And Teferi goes to one, so we still got another card. Yep, that's obnoxious, but fine. Oh, they didn't actually attack. That's great for us. Wow. Um the library that we need to move quickly oh that's perfect <laughs> that kills the Adanto Vanguard so land so we can kill the Adanto Vanguard we can flip you I don't think that's a great idea though so we can go block block yeah I think this is actually fine Considering these guys all have lifelink, it's actually not even profitable to attack until we get better control of the board. Is flipping this even a good idea? No, not until again we have better control of the board. Like a deafening clear on would definitely a definitely a deafening clear on would definitely change things. Shut up and take my money. <clears throat> Off to see into the spider verse of a chance and chew bubblegum buck, but I can't donate bubblegum, so you know what to do. I do. I do. I'll just submit like this. So, like, if they have one really strong card, like a Conclave or a uh, another March of the Multitudes, we have Disdainful Stroke, which is really what we want. Which, considering we're still at the end of our turn, it might be exactly what we want. Yep, that is. Could not actually cast that any clearer. <laughs> Alright, so now they're in top deck mode. They don't actually have six lands to pump. Now they do. Okay. So we're going to block here. Block here. So just this guy. He gets plus four, plus four. Probably block with Sailor. Make you spend your turn. Everybody? Just him. Alright. So if you pump him, Tefri goes to one. Is it worth Tefri going to one? I mean, Search for Escont is going to flip here, which is pretty okay. Yeah, no blocks. Tefri can go to one. Think. Yeah, having the sailor on board to block these other one ones is probably better. So def one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually have enough to deafening Clarion attack and then flip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put this guy in the graveyard, but you just don't need it right now. I will transform you. And there it is. Wow, we're good at this game. You know what? I'm not done yet. What do we have in here? Anything we care about? Venerated Loxodon. The um, we have no cards in hand. We could... What? Oh, that's that's our deck. Alright. It's weird that that even happens. So we have a Nicol Bolas. 
or we could just kill this guy. Um, I think we can actually block here and feel okay about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this dude off the board. They can have a 1-1, one, one, we get a 1-4. But both of our Planeswalkers are uh, strong enough to survive. Like, if, even if they get rid of our guy, they, both of our Planeswalkers survive, which is what I wanted. Because if we left Thorn Lieutenant, like, and they draw a Conclave or something, there's just no... Um... Hold that thought. We're drawing, like, five cards a turn. Is that right? My knowledge is endless. Probably not discarding here. Just no reason to. <laughs> this is a joke. Yeah, I'll take this one. Alright. No attacks. Untap, please. Two. Okay, well. Let's get rid of your last card. Like, see, this is what I, this is what I don't like—that it's taking this long. Like, you have one card in hand. I guess you could play it. Seal away. Why are you casting that? That's so weird. Like, you're just wasting time when we're we have 14 minutes. Vision time. Just weird. Did he? Okay, well. I guess we're good? I don't know. No attacks. End turn. How many Niv Misses are in this pile? None? Okay. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yep, we're doing all the things here. I feel like we won this game. Why is this taking so long? Sure. Yeah, 
Use this, use this. I have not used this yet. Got to. Thank you, this is an embarrassment of riches here. Uh, you and a blue. Get rid of the steam vents. <laughs> sure. Okay, we did it. KK, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be the end of part one. If you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to check out part two. That will go up after this. Um, but I'm going to end at three rounds, and then I'm going to do the next three rounds for part two. And if we somehow manage to top eight, I don't think we will. That will be another three rounds. So thank you guys so much for watching this part. Really appreciate it. Be sure to check out part two. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. I will also have a link to the deck list we played. And uh, you can also check out meandies.com slash franklapore. Uh, for 15% off, as well as free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. The link is in the description below, both on my Twitch profile and YouTube. And you can get 10% off if you use the promo code FRANK, so be sure and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.